years, gaming content has ruled the world of streaming up until recent years with the emergence of IRL streamers. Believe it or not, Can't there was a time fault. where you could open Twitch and all of the top streamers would literally be doing nothing but gaming. But now That's you can open do. Twitch and see your favorite streamer with your favorite rapper or favorite athlete or just have like an OnlyFans model or something like that on their stream. All types of things that has nothing to do with a video game at all. Be but there might be one streamer who's literally on the verge of saving game and streaming, and his name is Jinxie. So if you're new to the channel, name is your press the subscribe button and join cool the biggest trapper because we are on the road to 1,000 subscribers. And while you're at it, click the very first link in my description to join my official Discord server and become an official you member game? of the community. And with all of that being said, let's get into how Jinxie is single-handedly saving the world of gaming content. Okay, so of course there's always been big gaming streamers for all of time. There was time where the biggest streamers on Twitch were streamers like Ninja, Tifu. Nick Merckx, XQC, Pokemon. But when streamers like Aiden Ross and Kasanat blew up, the entire world of streaming would completely shift. You see, yeah. people started to realize that just because you streamed on Twitch, that didn't mean that you just had to go in there and play a game like everyone else was doing. These that's, two that's definitely facts. popularized bringing like YouTube type content over to live streaming, yeah. and it would completely change the culture. Cause yeah. now you can open up Twitch and instead of seeing people playing games, yep. you may see people there with your favorite rapper or literally doing magic tricks and things like that on stream. Yep. Whereas about five to six years ago, if you opened up Twitch, there was you'd gaming probably on some see the top streamers playing Fortnite or some you don't other even popular stream. game at That's the time. And you can accredit this to What's a favorite game you see me play? You can say, well, Games aren't as fun as they used to be. Games aren't as good as they used to be. So that's why gaming streams died on Twitch, which may be very true. Yes, games are dead. Yes, okay. there hasn't been any good games for a while now and things like that. But I don't think those two factors are 100% the reason why gaming streams died okay. out. Because with the emergence of Jinxie, he proved that it doesn't matter how old a game is or how popular a game is, you can still become a big streamer off of gaming. GNC blew up off of playing a highly competitive game now, that was called Rainbow Six Siege. Is so, now, is this so game him. has been out for nine years, and it was never by any means the most popular game there was. This well, is I a very competitive and, like, and tactical style game. Let be real. To be honest, who I don't really feel like for them video for is it the who watch it or is it the who makes it? Cause you got to be a loser years, to be flirting with nobody. Rank, like, it's almost impossible. <laughs> but how did Jinxie manage to get so much attention playing a game that was literally eight to nine years old? I well, don't you know. see, with most gaming streamers, they're either one of two things. A, they're very good at the game, but not very entertaining to watch. Or black. Or B, they're very entertaining to watch, but not, but not very, very good, good at the at game. The game. So both. this could cause That's a difference both. in viewership because somebody might want to watch you for you. But they're not good at the game or they don't like the game that you're playing or they might want to watch the game but they don't really like you as a content creator they bro, might feel that yeah the pokemon showdown had confies bro it actually had an audience bro man look bro you're boring or cringe or whatever the case may be but jinxie managed to be both <laughs> entertaining and extremely good at the game he was playing. He managed to combine these two things together, and this yeah. would lead to a crazy blow up yeah. for the streamer that's nominated for two awards at the upcoming Streamer Awards. Yeah. The Streaming Awards is an annual award show hosted by a streamer named QT Cinderella, yeah. and it's yeah, been bro. a very popular thing within the streaming community for the past few years. Jinxie is nominated for two awards in Streamer He's of the Year at, at and Streamer of the Year. Now this is big because being nominated for Streamer of the Year it's very surprising for someone who does mostly gaming content. I mean, the person who won streamer of the year the last two years was Kasanet. He literally didn't gain much at all. I mean, yes, yeah, Kyle he was did. here. And all right, he did, bro. Obviously, <laughs> it wouldn't get no more as clout or content as is just chatting. But he was like doing this that I did been doing, like end of the streams. Remember when I first started half the stream that and then half the stream gaming and some there, but he was never known as a gamer or a gaming. But he's not known for that bullshit. Anything by that at all. At all. When you, think, when you think of Call of Duty or Fortnite or Apex, and when you think of Ninja, you think of Fortnite, League of Legends, games like that. But when you think of Kasanat, you think of like probably getting sturdy and him being funny reactions and all types of things like that. But it was never really gaming. So for a gaming streamer to be nominated for Streamer of the Year when it has been completely dominated by IRL streamers for the past two years is definitely a big <laughs> achievement. And this was a big achievement, not only for Jinxie, but for the entire gaming content community as a whole. 
In fact, not only is he nominated for two very big awards, but he's also number one on Twitch right now in current yeah. active subscribers. Mm. But this amount of success did not happen overnight for Jinxie. He recently lied. The Siege developers gotta pay this nigga, bro. Please share the screenshot from way back in 2019, showing that he streamed the entire month of September to only one average viewer. I mean, the man had 29 streams, which is basically the entire month, and he only averaged one single viewer. And that one viewer was probably just one of his friends or a person that he played the game with. It could have either been like himself, bro, Fire. watching on a different device. Who knows? But it was literally one viewer watching him back in 2019. I created my Twitch account in 2019. I spent 365 consecutive streams How old was he streaming back to an audience of one viewer. Okay? Man, did he start on Twitch when I started on Twitch? I think I started on Twitch in 2019. I was streaming on YouTube in 2018. That's, that's like the same month I started on Twitch, September 2019. The same month. My goal with saying this is that anyone watching at home, anyone in the audience, anybody who comes across this Was clip, he playing Siege back then too? Chase your fucking dreams. Because dreams without action will always just be dreams. I believe in each and every one of you motherfuckers to find your purpose, yes. change wow. the world, motivate others, inspire others. That's crazy. Get started today. And now he's number one in subscriptions on Twitch and averages 50 to 100,000 every time he goes live. And this what is really all from making it like actual content out of a game TikTok? that was nine years old. But you see, Jinxie did kind of change the way that he made his gaming streams. You see, back in the day, streamers like Tfue and Ninja were just extremely good at the game. And yes, a lot of people did find them. I always said this. The niggas that are good at the games are so fucking boring. Like, uh, like Jesus Christ. Since you duck with him so bad, why don't you play Siege with him like you was supposed to? Huh? <laughs> When did he ask me to play Siege? Was that a year ago? <laughs> I said yes, but what happened? Something happened. I flew out of town. Wasn't it like TwitchCon or some shit? Or some shit. Or he said it on stream. He did something. I flew out. I did. I flew out. Barn, did I flew out? What did he say? What did Barn say? You were out of town. Yes, I was out of town when he asked. Entertaining, but their success was accredited to a very popular game at the time in Fortnite. I mean, it was literally the biggest game in the world, so it had a lot of viewership going in and out. Rainbow Six Siege is a nine-year-old game. It didn't really have it's much viewership down. going on in Twitch with that nigga. other than just tournaments and things like that. But you see, Tifu and Ninja also just played Fortnite. They didn't actually make content out of Fortnite. That's where Jinxie is kind of revolutionizing the world of streaming. Like how Aiden Wait. Ross revolution- Okay, when niggas 1v1 Jinxie, like noobs, what, what do they have to do? Get a kill? Like, what do they have to do? As IRL streaming, Jinxie is doing the same thing. I can get thing a kill on that nigga. Gaming. You see, he's not just going live and playing this game, but he'll go live and take something that's very popular when? in reaction. How the fuck am I gonna beat that nigga? Using no gun? Then how the fuck is he gonna win? And incorporate it into his gaming streams. And he'll do things like react to different Rainbow Six Siege clips from his viewers. And then he'll try to guess the rank or whatnot that they're in. But he'll host different tournaments like putting five bronzes against one plat and all different Is this types game of very well oh, no, it's not no Amazon, huh? ideas instead of just going live and playing the game. And that's where a lot of people who try he to flashes you? Can you look away from Flash like Valorant? actual gaming streamer goes wrong they try to just go live and play the game versus trying to make actual content out of the game that they're playing with the current state of gaming it's almost impossible to blow up off of just playing a game because no game is popular right now no game is good enough to blow up off of or has the popularity to blow up like there's numerous streamers who blew up off of fortnite strictly because of how good fortnite was like there's streamers who were literally some of the biggest streamers on twitch at the time and now people don't even know where they are Yo. And that's literally just directed to them just playing the game and being good at it and not creating actual content out of yeah. the game and being an entertaining creator. But see, someone like Jinxie does not have to worry about that at all because for That's one, why Clicks is so him. Not only was he keep getting better and better with the game, he evolved. One, one of them, them OG niggas that was good at the game, the skill gap got too big for them niggas. They just wasn't good anymore. That nigga Clips kept evolving. Clips kept evolving and evolving and adapting and adapting and adapting. And he's like entertaining. Is he the biggest Fortnite streamer right now still? 
he's already blown up off of a game that was literally nine years old like and another reason that solidified him is because he's also starting to mix into other forms of content that's outside of gaming you may go into a stream now and see him doing an IRL with another big streamer another big content creator or doing an e-date or just other funny forms of content other than just sitting there playing rainbow six siege <laughs> or making content out of that one specific game and that's where a lot of people went wrong because they never tried to grow their content outside of the actual game it was and here's the thing chat niggas are forgetting the most important part what's the most important part in Jixi's whole success genetics he was born in florida florida boy nick Merckx. florida boy your rage, <laughs> Florida boy, Tifu, <laughs> Florida boy, <laughs> Moist Critical, <laughs> Florida boy, Aiden Ross, <laughs> Florida boy. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just one of them things. Like you're just bound for success, just bound for success. Flight reacts, <laughs> Florida boy. Like, like, like it's just it's just one of those things. Is you're just you're genetically bound like for great things to happen to you. Epstein, Epstein is not from fucking Florida, bro. I was like a where was Jeffrey Epstein born, bro? Wait, 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 wait. You like the way that I dance? She like the way that I woo. You like the way that I pop? She like that I shoot. Clap for a nigga. Fuck wrong with y'all niggas, boy. Adolf Hitler, Florida boy. What? I mean, hello? Here's the thing with this Canadian ass nigga. He's in his room in the dark editing and laughing at that joke. He is laughing his ass off right now, chat. He's laughing so hard. Osama bin Laden, Florida boy. Bruce dropping my Florida boy. It's just always based on the game. And if you do that, then I feel like you're kind of just asking for a fall off eventually. Obviously, we all hope that doesn't happen, but that's literally the reality of gaming streamers. But when these IRL streams get into a dangerous point where people are starting to do anything on stream just for views and clips and things like that to go viral, it's very refreshing to see someone like Jinxie come into the space as literally just sitting in his room, playing it's refreshing, a game, bro. And making content. It's refreshing, bro. It gives niggas hope. reviving that old feeling that you would get when you opened up yeah, Twitch well, back in 2008. Yay, nigga and 14 of the 9 11 hijackers lived and trained in Broward country before the Twin Towers attack. Um, that is very. How do I say this? Tragic. It is tragic. But yes, that can happen if you use. Because Broward, Florida, like just Florida in general, there's a lot of high skilled training being done here. If you need some good training, you'll come there. So it is a shame that that system, that Florida can be abused. For such heinous crimes. Like it just is what it is. Like I'm sorry. Obviously there's a benefit of being from. In the state of Florida. But people can abuse such states. And counties. They took Florida's advantages. And used it as evil. RIP all the victims of 9-11. But you can't blame Florida for that. That's turning a good thing. Into something bad. Blame the people. Jinxie within the gaming community because it's really starting. Dimaje brand, here's the thing. Dimaje was born and raised in California. You LA motherfuckers are just retarded. <laughs> that just is what it is. It seem like at least within the streaming world, gaming content is becoming a dying art. So as always, you guys know I value your opinion. So let me know how you feel about Jinxie or just gaming content in general down below in the yeah, comments. Why, why are you why looking at me like I that, bro? I think you'd like Siege too. I see you getting hooked like Val since they both have strategy. You see me getting hooked? Just press that subscribe button to join the travels with the biggest traver because we are on the road to 1,000 yeah, subscribers. We're almost there. We're literally Nor is from Florida in case you didn't know. Here, bro, he's from support like... Here. Get his video Palestine. Up, you what are you it. talking or, about? If you Said I'm on three pills right now. If I'm being honest, hope my feelings shoot out like a rocket. Niggas thought they had the swag, but I'm really honest. Look at you just window shopping that new bag I bought.